rolling. I think we're on Studio 6, so let's have a look inside. Hello. 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 Hey, come on in, come on in. <laughs> Hello, nice a whole, whole team here. It's a bit Hi, dark, um, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Matthew, the producer. Cool. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Steve, the dialogue editor. Hi, Steve. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the sound designer. Hello, Michael. And I'm Tusha, the recording mixer. Hi, Tusha. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Let's see what you guys what you guys are doing here. Absolutely, thanks for, yeah. thanks for having us. Have a yeah, seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, so we just what we don't we we're playing it in parts to Stephen uh, okay. Matthew and then um, just taking notes. Everyone's taking notes and we're just fixing things. Yeah, so we watched the first what 13, 14 minutes. Yeah, and then we've gone back and we're stopping as we go. Okay, and it's mainly muting music. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Turning it down. <laughs> uh, so yeah, first one. Seven fifteen. So I think. No. <laughs> So there we've got those little kind of tweety birds. I suspect that's in the dialogue. So it might be something that there's a stick we just in. like paint out possibly. Yeah. Okay, what what, what are we gonna do with it? So, yeah. I mean, living in a wood, I can actually say that at Dos you do get tweet sounds. You get to a lot of tweet. Yeah, yeah no, David, I know. It's, David it's, specifically it's, oh, okay, his, fine, Yeah, fine. he's been really specific about pulling out like There's anything no which isn't like a horrible crow. So. Fine, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> so. It's just I do live in a wood. So yeah, no, <laughs> it's completely realistic, but it's just... Lovely. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? One of the things that I was saying as well, that we could possibly have like a lot of the outside world but we want to clearly I mean David's very specific as well yeah, yeah, not, yeah it's all about we being in the middle of nowhere so we can't really have yeah. anything no, other than it's a good doing yeah. but I was just like there is I don't know. yeah so that birds are gone still hear a bit no it's more that it's that breath sounding a bit cut off now it's fine. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah I, th I don't think there was much. I there. quite like that being a bro. That's yeah. good, do you mean? Because she's like, that's pissed off. Yeah, no, it's fine. Cool. I'm not worried yet. Okay. If you're not worried, I'm <laughs> <laughs> This next one. Yeah, I've got nothing until 14.30. Cough. Yeah, Steve and I have both got the cough. cough. Oh, like yeah. 9 minutes 25. 9.27. 25. Yeah, I thought it was really past. <laughs> the second half, I, I think, is quite good. But the yeah, first the second bit, half works. Second half works. Yeah, but the first is just too. It's a bit too loud. Okay. Okay. Oh, so it's just a level thing. It's not a content. No, it's just level. Okay. <laughs> so it's just yeah, that's fine. Just push it away a bit as well, isn't it? Yeah. Push yeah, it yeah if you can make it feel like it's a bit further away, then that would be great. That's distance wise sounds good. I just, is that still a bit too loud? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, yeah, yeah it sounds more realistic. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's the other side of the door now. Yeah. Uh, 11.25, I've got clock question mark. Oh, well, I've got 10.25. Okay. It's just that one, actually. It just stand, really stands out. The... When she puts her foot down, she's walking over to the shutters. Uh, I, I, don't I, agree. I think I found the feet a bit yeah. overpowering. Um, some few places actually. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one, the yeah, first one. Ah, oh, okay. I see. I see. Good spot. Actually, it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's quite. It's quite big. Because he comes with a plethora of creaks. And... <laughs> I was surprised. Is it the folder? Yeah. It is the folder, yeah. Is there any chance of it being a little bit more gentle? Because she that, sounds a bit manly to me. Oh, that feet, that foot. Yeah. Or just generally the whole. Generally thing. the whole thing. Yeah, just okay. back a bit. We could do that. Yeah. It's just a lovely moment with music. So mm. I don't think there's much of a feet thing going on there. Places there, you know, the quiet ones. I felt the feet were a bit. I've written down, but I'll just bring them down. Cool. When cool. the next pass, but um, yeah, that sounds good. So like the double, there is the scene is like a double, but also what I think the, the, the clock with the music would be great if you could. I, I right. think it needs to be less to begin with, but as we get that swell with the music, making more of the clock, clock. with perhaps some reverb out into the low ending, so it becomes more pulsating and then disappears into nothing. Oh, right. I think that could work really well. More but it stylized. needs to begin with, yeah, more stylized. Okay. But it yeah. does need to be less to begin less with. Less to begin and with. a little moment. Okay. You feel it with the string swell. And there was a... So this is all too much. I see, and then... So as before, there was a string. Let me ask. There. Start off a bit, yeah. Yeah, and then because then it feels loud because the music's gone and it's gone back to normal. So the the clock and the I think the string should be more synchronous. All right. Um, it would be interesting to know how do you approach the whole mix, um, and what are the first steps like when like think, when it gets uh, to you the first time. I think it, uh, before it even comes to me, I think um, Steve gets hold of the the the, uh, um, the, the tracks from the you know cutting room, mm -hmm. uh, what they've after they edited, and then he mainly sort of does his magic on it. So um, you know, and it, and it wasn't easy, was it? 
No. <laughs> uh, well, um, the approach. We were we were basically sent the film with all the different takes, with all the um, everything that was on there, and it's a matter of capturing the feel of the film and making the dialogues and the foley work for that. And with this, because of the kind of the unique location of the house, which is fantastic. But it's quite loud. It's presented lots of problems. The crew moving around in the background. So, it's making that sound like a creepy old house was intense amount of editing for quite a few weeks, and all the time pulling out, pulling out, pulling out, and replacing with cool creaks moments, and just making that work, which is quite quite a lot to do. So, so, so h- how much of the original sound is still in the film? Like the sound you captured so it's at the actual been, place? So the the original tracks that were sent must have been well over 30 tracks. Wow. And we pared it down probably to about 80% of that. So it's just using the most minimum amount of, of foots, atmospheres. So simple things like the, there are clocks in the house. Mm-hmm. And they were obviously working, so it's editing all those out, so as we have a clean uh, atmosphere, so as proper cl- like clocks that we can mix, but on, was a lot of work. Okay. So as editing, taking out, substituting dialogue lines that were clean with ones that were dirty, uh, losing creaks all the time because obviously uh, people moving around, uh, the crew in the background. Uh, so as, I think probably that's about the right ratio. 20% of what was recorded was used. Okay. And then it moves from, once you've done that, you pass it then on to... Um, to Michael. Michael, uh, was it? Uh, yeah, so I suppose Steve and I are kind of working simultaneously on different tracks, um, on different paths. So I'm more covering any additional sounds. So the sound of the rooms, sort of any, you know, like the wind and just the general kind of background of the rooms, things like Steve said, um, clocks kind of making in more interesting controllable kind of tracks of clocks and uh, yeah little moments of like wind and stuff like that and then any of like the doors and stuff like that kind of comes to us um you know the bookshelves falling over we kind of like make that a more a bigger kind of more powerful sound um and then sort of the things which edge towards that that um the kind of split between music and sound where we're doing more sound designy stuff which is the sort of you know, the kind of whispering and the more like tonal stuff mm. and things like that. And you re-record stuff and recreate those sounds? Yeah, so I went out and did a lot of recording for this. So I recorded a lot of um, just atmospheres of an old uh, kind of uh, house out in the country. So there's no kind of traffic and stuff like that. Uh, recording that in surround so that we have loads of kind of fresh, um, quiet material to kind of put in. Because that was the thing with this was getting it quiet, you know, making sure we had those moments of of real quietness before the music comes in and we have those big kind of shocks and stuff like that. So, okay. yeah, it's recording kind of lots of little sounds that we could then thread through and cool. kind of create the atmosphere. Um, Less is more. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then once we've done that, we kind of put it all together and we pass it to to Shah, who kind of starts trying to make sense of it, and, you know, make the yeah. whole thing work together. So what are your first steps then, so, once you get all the different tracks? Yeah, before you know, just before it comes to me, I think Mike will compile your music as well, your lovely music, and it'll put it all in sort of one big session for me. And then uh, I start with the pre-mixing what um, um, Steve's done. So, you know, he's, he, he had a good pre-mix pass, but then I have to, you know, when you bring it to a theatrical sound, if, you know, things that you can't hear in a small room or things that pop out, you know, thumps and hums, which you don't want. So a lot mm-hmm. of cleaning up of the production sound, the, the one that was salvaged. So I start with the dialogues and then we went on to the Foley and then uh, balancing out what Michael's done as well. Cause you know, when, when you bring it into this space again, it's a similar thing um, that you have, to, you have to make it work for cinema audience. Mm. And then the music as well. The last thing was the uh, music premix. And then this week we've just been final mixing, balancing everything together. Um, it has been quite challenging. I think it's it's uh, to make the foley work in all the feet work because uh, to be able to recreate a house like that in a small foley room doesn't. So that was mm-hmm. the main challenge I had. But other than that, it's all going well. <laughs> and to what extent do you touch the the music, the score? Do you just balance out the levels, or is there anything else that you um, do to it, or is it? 
quite a lot actually well not as much as you guys doing it but um i have to because uh, i get um s- uh, stems from you isn't it that we just stereo stem so mm-hmm. first i you know sort of sit down make you know pan them out to the surround a lot of times some some of your stems won't work in and you know surround so you, they need to be brought in a bit or you know put back mm-hmm. a bit so i do that a lot of editing according to the director sadly you must have noticed um so yeah a lot of music gets you know it, it comes in late or comes out quicker yeah. depending on how they would like it and i think it works for the film you know cuz after all we we are all sort of contributing towards the yeah of course yeah, film yeah. so yeah Small. that bit and then um, not much you know i don't i don't eq your music at all um, mm-hmm. maybe add a little bit of more um bottom to put it to the lfe Nice. Just yeah. make it thump, yeah. 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 But I don't, yeah, I don't. Um, I think it's quite well balanced what you guys gave us. So you know, don't do that. Though. So yeah, mainly editing and just opening up in the surround space, really. So it's it's more immersive that way. Yeah. yeah. What's what's the next step? Um, I think uh, we was like today's our review, which is what we're doing right now, mm-hmm. and then uh, we will go and tweak even more. I mean, we're doing a lot of changes right now, but there are a few things that we need to add in. Um, I think um, trying to get the breathing constantly on in the second half of the film is what we've been finding challenging and the feet constantly you know keeping the pace and the yeah, the, the yeah. frantic moments okay so we're going to relook at those and um then we record it and then uh, record it and send it to david again for final notes maybe and the last two days we go in a big room uh, in a in a theater where we'll actually um, listen to it uh, as if it was playing in a cinema preferably with the director i guess yes yes yeah. with okay. with david and you know hopefully he'll be back for that Um, cool. Yeah. Let me just see that again. Are you ready? I'll let no more off. try moving that creek to later so just before Mary's head turn to look at Emily um so should we try it is sink yeah okay. uh okay it's sink it's sink really I think we created that. <laughs> I think that was Nick from somewhere else. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. Well, either way. Um... Because we did find something specific. Yeah. Well, we talked about this a lot, didn't we? Steve? Yeah. <laughs> Because we had the, we had the ADR cough, mm. which it's sounded, a bit comic. It would, didn't mm. sound brilliant, and and um, we. Um, Not with floor print. Yeah, mm. and we t- and we talked about um, that if someone is. Three, four yards behind mm. you, you know they're there. Mm. You know you sense it and you can, <laughs> you can hear them. Well, the creek would be fine because my initial intention was that there's a there's a creek <coughs> that motivates Mary's head turn. Um, so it may just be that we just stick another one on there, and it's as Emily's moving. Really. Yeah. And through here. Oh, is that where it was before? Cool. Great. Yeah. Um, is, is just as the just as the sound of the car is they're about to leave. Have you got anything before that? Well, guys? the car doors. Yeah. I've, I think sounds like they're in the kitchen. Yeah. With, <clears throat> which is at seven minutes. Okay, let's have a look at that, one, please. I mean, we did talk about. Them. Do we ever actually really need them? Would you hear them from that far back in the house? Don't don't know. Let's have a listen. That's what it's motivated. Yeah, and it's just that that dog shit. It's kind of quite a distance. What, no. what, what, what about um, if we had the car engine starting up then? Have we got enough? Can we loop the the sound we, of it ticking over? We we talked about that, uh-huh. and it was, and we felt 
like it was um, it was too early because if you have the car doors then mm. then you know he's got to get the key in the mm. ignition and then mm. and, and the timing worked better I think mm. we did try it even. okay okay fine um, in which case let's stay with the doors then I don't I don't mind that I can't quite like them um, so I think it's fine to have the doors there but can we just so you want to drop the level on them a little bit I think, think? just okay. drop the level on them a bit mm. and it'll be fine and then I because I was thinking about the placement of them might be worth looking at them just being a touch uh, a touch earlier maybe I know I've kind of probably asked them to be a touch later but Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah the second one. Yeah, yes. that's good. Because it was the, it was how rapid, uh, lovely, very nice. Very it all seemed a bit too coordinated. Yes, hard, didn't it? yes, very good. Nice one. Thank you very much. It kind of takes you out of the moment. Yeah. So if you just keep it as. Should we uh, sort of split the difference so that there is something, but it's not quite the same? I'm fine to have it there. It's just it sounds like it's got an effect on it, which I don't want it to have. It's all got to feel okay. real, please. Oh, okay. They already exist. Fantastic. I'll just do that. Yeah. But it's, but it's still, I mean, the that, clock thing, it changes. Yeah, it sounds all kind of, it sounds... It, there's, there's reverb on the clock, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, yeah, don't want that at all. Don't want that. Where's it gone? In fact, the clock would kind of begin to get on your nerves, I think. And then we end up kind of chasing our tails and saying, do we have clock here, don't we? So, so. so the atmosphere's gone now, right? Mm. Let's check that back out of here. We're changing the ghostly clock, so... Oh, okay. I see why you did it. Good idea, but I just want to keep it real. Oh, okay. All oh, right, that changed PLV. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it is like a, an assailant's point of view shot. Sure. So, fine. Still, so again, there's, there's too much on there. Yeah, it's too... Too mm. different. Too, yeah, but not different at all, really. Just, just want it kind of a little bit lower in level, maybe. I am the re-recording mixer, so that means you take the sound effects and dialogue tracks from the production sound and music for obviously from composers and things, and some foley, which is all the sound you make when you move, um, and basically mix them all together and balance them and try and make them sound real. Is the gist of what I do. <laughs> Amazing. So, and then uh, the first time you get the music, the um, from the composers, for mm -hmm. example, that's something that you then balance between everything. And is it yep. something that you uh, tweak quite frequently when you get music, or is there like a standard procedure or something that you? Uh, it depends. Um, so you will have premix the dialogues and effects first, and then the music comes last. And you uh, you either use a guide track to tell you how to dip the music or you just watch it and assume what's right, sort of do it by feel and then obviously the directors and things come in and tell you whether you've done it right or not and definitely tweak levels a lot. Um, frequency wise it really depends um, sometimes you'll get a mix from say you know a big recording studio and it doesn't quite sound as beautiful so we make it sound more beautiful frequency wise um, you might add a little bit of reverb just so that it sits in a bigger space but only a touch just to sit it in there and obviously when a track ends sometimes it, it needs to sort of fade out into the effects and dialogue so you'll put a bit of reverb tail on that but other than that you don't really do much to the original mixes but yeah well i'll start from the top hello my name's david holroyd i'm the writer and director of the film one of the most difficult things is is putting all the elements of the sound and the music together you've got the music 
you've got the the foley which are the 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 sound effects of people's footsteps you've got the the sync sound that you recorded on the location uh with the dialogue and then you've got extra dialogue that you may have added um adr after the event so so deciding how to put all those together it is quite a complicated process and and uh the the dubbing mixes well there are a whole host of people involved in it we have you have a foley artist or some foley artists who will do the sound effects who will actually walk around doing the footsteps that you replace because when we actually recorded the film there are lots of sounds there that you don't want uh we were filming in in a house which had lots of creaky floorboards so often when the main character is walking down a corridor in the real sound that we recorded you'll hear five other footsteps walking down as the crew walk backwards down the corridor in front of her the the the, the director of photography the gaffer the the sound recordist and me so we have to take a lot of sounds out and then once we've taken that out if we don't have any footsteps it sounds odd so we have to get a foley artist who does the the footsteps in there and puts little creaks in and then there are the sound effects like tap stripping sound of wind just the general sound of a house you have to put in um and sometimes watching it again you go oh it's a bit empty there we need a little bit of extra dialogue or uh, occasionally um with the the main actress sophie uh i felt that we could do with some places where it was a bit empty and i needed her to come in again and just do some sound some some uh some sigh some some just little sounds that, that that are the everyday sounds that you take for granted um, and if you don't have them you miss them and sometimes you don't realize until after the effect after the moment and the way in which you decide to put them in or what to put in and what to take out is really just a case of watching it like an audience and feeling if it feels right i mean I, I, the analogy i use is, is it's a lot like closing your eyes and running your hand over a tabletop and it feels smooth but you'll notice where there's a bump and it's more that i find it's more like you watch it and then you go oh that's a bit odd um that sound doesn't work or it needs something there so it, it feels like it's it's quite a um quite an innate thing uh because all of us we've been watching movies and tv shows since the day we were born probably and we all have a certain sense of what should be in there and shouldn't be um and it's just a case of knowing how to how to remove yourself from from watching it like a viewer and and notice little bits what to take in what to take out that doesn't really make a lot of sense but that analogy of running your hand over a piece of wood and feeling where there are bumps and that's what you address and once you've got rid of the mistakes or put in things where you think there are mistakes what you should be left with is something that feels right one of the big decisions of course is how to put the effects and the music together how to work them together and some of it's trial and error i think a lot of what you do comes from the movies you've absorbed uh, as a kid and an adult um it, particularly if you're working in a genre i think the genre, genres have certain rules and i think um if you are working in a genre you tend to know what those rules are just innately um and then when you're actually making the film you have to implement those and some of those are innate some of those you know how to do um just naturally any of us would but others you um you have to use through a process of trial and error sometimes and it happen, happens quite often no, nobody knows everything it doesn't feel like you know everything it doesn't feel like you have all the answers it often feels like you're working your way through a a slightly dark room trying to find the right exit um so that will often be a case of you will say when you're looking through the film with the dubbing mixer and the and the composer saying let's have a piece of music here let's have a have a sound effect here oh well, yeah and i'm just going to have a let you have lunch now thank you very yeah. much thanks very much for having us nice to meet you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. might see you tomorrow we might not documentary together yeah. right. thanks a lot you too Oh, yeah, all these little things to consider is just so much audio to be able to balance. And uh, things like, I don't know, if, if you were to make sounds louder than necessary uh, for the girl, for example, that, are, that is kind of shuffling around or something, or putting down a cup of tea down, um, it would, for example, make a sound too clumsy, or if you do it too quietly, it's just too dainty, I don't know, all these kind of little things. Um, that I hadn't really thought about in that way. So that was really interesting to have an example of 
what, what the power of Foley actually can be. So we just arrived in LA and we flew out here because the film has been submitted to different film festivals and The Haunted has now been accepted to Screenfest, which is meant to be a, a big horror film festival. And the screening of it will be tomorrow evening at the Chinese theater, which is super exciting.